All right, what's up everybody? Today we are gonna go over how to start a Facebook ads traffic campaign. Um, so traffic campaigns used to be a lot more popular before, and you could see it here, optimized for conversions before basically conversions came into play. And um, they're basically how I started with uh, Facebook advertising is just with traffic campaigns and the way that you basically optimize was just by looking at all the traffic to your website and optimizing it that way. Um, if you have a conversion, um, and most people do, I, I recommend looking at our how to you know optimize for a conversion video, like Facebook website conversions campaigns, um, because that's going to be a little bit better for you. So if you have like a Shopify e-commerce website, you want to optimize for conversions like sales. Um, if you have a B2B website, you want to optimize for conversions like leads, you know, like downloads, whatever it is that your your key performance indicator is. So. I just want to go over traffic campaigns today. Traffic campaigns make sense if you're trying to basically, I think for brand awareness, a traffic campaign might make sense. Um, if you're trying to basically target new customers and you realize that a conversion is base, is down the line a little bit further. Um, so maybe for a larger budget. Uh, if you don't have a conversion necessarily, which I recommend you have one, but um, you could use traffic campaigns. Um, you can also use them. I mean, I've used them successfully in the past before. Uh, you know, alongside conversion campaign. So I think there's there's a lot of use for them. Um, so what you want to do is basically with Facebook, the first thing you're going to need to set up, and I'm going to have videos showing how to do all this as well, but the first thing you need to set up is once you create your Facebook page is set up your ads manager, or in my case, it's business manager. Um, it's not very hard to get started with Facebook advertising, but there is a little bit of a hurdle in terms of knowledge. So make sure you set up your account that way. Um, you set up a page, you want to connect it to a personal business account because um, you have a, or your personal account, and then basically you have your business page and you have your ad account for that business page that you need to set up. Um, when you have a page and you start posting on it, Facebook will do everything they can to get you to spend money, so it's pretty self explanatory and there's a lot of guides. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is you come here. So I have this account, this is basically my account I'm using for videos and um, what I'm going to do today is start here and click create ad up at the top corner. So I was creating one before, so this isn't actually the page you're going to come to. The, the page you're going to come to to start is, is right here. It's going to say, what's your marketing objective? Um, you usually want to be over here. Um, but today we're going to be here for traffic. So I just want to send traffic to my to my website and I'm going to pretend I have a golf website today um, so it's going to be golf traffic and just click traffic here and basically just click continue and you'll see it take you through here you can start at the campaign level you go to the ad set level and you go to the ad level at the third so the ad set level is where you set your targeting it's where you set your budget um, so basically what I want to do is target people who have an interest and let's just say PGA Tour Golf. So this, these are the people I want to target is they have an interest in PGA Tour Golf. Um, so traffic, I have a website, not an app. You would change that here and set up your app in Facebook. Offer, you can set up offers through Facebook. I'm not going to do an offer today. I'm just sending traffic. So um, let's start at audiences. So as far as custom audiences, you can use remarketing, you can use email lists, and then you could also build lookalike audiences off of those different um, things that you do. So basically Facebook will find people that are similar to those on your email list, similar to those on your remarketing list. I don't have a custom audience right here, so we're gonna go right down to location. Um, so for location, let's just say I wanna target people in a couple Southern states. So let's say I wanna do Florida, Texas, Georgia, so let's just say I want to target a little bit regional in some of these some of these states where golf is pretty popular. Um, mind you, golf is basically popular everywhere in the United States, but some of these places where golf is pretty popular. So now, once you set locations, you're going to start seeing over here, your audience is going to start being built. Right now it says we're very broad, which is pretty obvious. Um, it's saying my estimated daily reach um, goes up to about $35,000 on Facebook and about 12000 on Instagram. So with that being said, one of the things I want to show you here is 
basically this tutorial is a Facebook tutorial. So I want to get rid of Instagram. So what you're going to do is go down to placements down here and you could do this from the very beginning. But what you want to do is go down to placements down here and you want to get rid of Instagram and you want to get rid of the audience network. So now basically the only platform I'm running on is Facebook in the mobile and desktop news feeds in the instant articles section. I'm ineligible for in-stream videos and for the right column. Um, it's going to be in the right column portion of Facebook. So it'll only run on Facebook and that's basically what I want. Um, so what you want to do here is just make sure this is checked. Um, at least one placement is obviously required. So if you're just targeting Instagram, you just click right here. But what we're going to do is just click Facebook and just keep it there. So now Instagram completely goes away on the side. So now let's come back up here. So back to my targeting. We just targeted some of these states and you can see them a little bit here. If I scroll out. So we just targeted some, some states here. Um, for age, let's say I'm targeting people who are interested in the PGA Tour. Let's just say I want to go 30 and up. So we just do 30 and up, get rid of everybody who's a little bit younger. Gender, let's just say I'm interested in all genders. I'm, I have whatever I'm offering right now, which just pretend it's like golf lessons or something. Um, I can go to all genders. So language, I like to set my language here as English. All right, detailed targeting. So here's where basically Facebook is one of the best advertising platforms out there is the detailed targeting you have. So when I start here, and it's going to give you some suggestions based on what I've used in the past. I have another client that does some beach decor. So um, basically what I want to do is since I'm targeting PGA Tour, what you do is just search PGA Tour. And you're going to have different things that come up, some of these smaller ones, PGA Tour Superstore. What you always have is this one broad interest group, 18 million people, and you'll usually have an employer come up. You always have one broad interest group and then usually an employer when you type in something like this. So there's all these different things here that you'll see. So Tiger Woods PGA Tour Online, that's a video game. So that might be someone who loves golf video games but just doesn't golf. And I went through a phase like that, so it's it's very possible. PGA Tour Fall Series, PGA Tour on CBS. So what my basic premise to people is if you want to go broad and with a traffic campaign you might it might make more sense to go broad you would just click right up here and now what you have is a potential reach of 610,000 people with my daily budget that I have set I'm only going to reach this amount per day so it's a huge audience it's plenty big and this would be good for right now so this is one option you have. So if you're doing PGA Tour Golf, you want to do golf lessons to everybody in these states. Let's say you serve these states. You have some affiliates there. Um, you do PGA Tour Golf. I want to teach people who, who love watching golf how to golf. Um, now, basically, you have your audience set, and it's going to be 30 to 65, all genders, anywhere on Facebook, and people who like PGA Tour on Facebook. Um, so very, very targeted for sure. Um, but definitely could get a little bit more targeted if we wanted to. What we might want to do here is say estimated daily reach is so large. Let's just see what happens if I if I go way down. So now my potential reach goes way back up. We go PGA Tour. And let's just go what I did before, PGA Tour on CBS. And let's, they pulled out this one right here, Senior PGA Championship. And let's go PGA National Golf Club. So now my potential reach daily is 17,000 people. I'm only supposed to reach about 2,000, 1,500 people per day out of 16,000. So this might actually be a better, if you're looking for something more targeted, this is kind of where you want to go. Some of these smaller audiences where people are very, very refined, very targeted, and it's going to be someone who absolutely has an interest in PGA Tour because you don't like these types of things and you don't get put in these interest groups unless you have that very serious interest. Um, so for me, I just want to keep it broad so we're just going to stay broad so pga tour here so if you want to do connections you could actually say you know what i want to exclude people who like my page and i'm going to be running this from surfside ppc obviously i don't do golf stuff but um so we're going to exclude people who like surfside ppc um because i don't want them to see my ads they already know what i do um daily budget is going to be 20 dollars. we're going to set a start and an end date and so right now we started at march 13th let's end it Let's say March 25th, and let's go 6 o'clock p.m. So basically what they're saying is your ad's going to run for 12 days, and I'll spend more, no more than $240.38 based on my budget, based on how long it's running. That's the max spend that I'll have, which is great to know.
So let's continue here. So now my ad set is done. So at your campaign level, you're basically just choosing your objective and naming it. At your ad set, you want to go where your traffic's going, whether or not you have an offer, what your audience is, where you're running your ad, and the budget and scheduling of your ad. So that's all set at the ad set level. Um, now at the ad level, um, you set ads for each of your ad sets. So if we had multiple ad sets, we would uh, set multiple ads, but we're just going to do one for now. Um, so for our ad, we have... We're just going to do a single image ad here. You have some different options. I'm going to show all the different options in different videos, but we're going to do a single option here. Um, our ad name here, let's just do golf ad one. That should work for us. So golf ad one is fine. Uh, usually you want to match your ad name with how you're basically tracking it back into Google Analytics. Um, so that's something that you can do. So let's change the page where we're at. Here's my ad. Um, I uploaded this earlier. So basically, Here's all you need to know about ads. Your recommended image size is 1200 by 628. One of the things you can do is use try to use some of their free stock images. So I could use golf. So the thing you need to know about using stock images is it says some may not comply with Facebook policies. Make sure you check the license of each of them because like a lot of these you have to pay for from Shutterstock. Um, and you need a license to actually run them as ads. Otherwise you could have some legal trouble. So that's an option is stock images. I uploaded this one earlier, and then any images you ever upload are going to go into your image library. So I have some different things in here. So that's about it. Now I have my image here. 1200 by 68 is a recommended. You can get away with 600 by 315 on Facebook. It works just fine. There's doesn't hurt you at all. The only thing that really hurts you is if you put a lot of text. So look here. If you put a lot of overlay text on top of your image, so I put, so if I put get great golf lessons right here, Facebook actually doesn't serve it as much um, and they're gonna serve it, it's gonna be basically more expensive for them to serve it because they want big pictures, big visuals without text. They want, they give you text that surrounds it. So what you're gonna see here is, And let's just pretend I'm sending them to my home page. So we're just going to go UTM campaign equals Facebook golf and UTM source equals Facebook. So that's going to be my URL here. Facebook's going to try to grab some text from my URL and put it in there. I don't even know if... It's not going to be uh, relevant at all for sure because it's going to be related to a PPC management company, but we'll let that load up here for a second. All right, so we have it all loaded here. It's going to automatically pull in some different things that you have, and it might work out for you, but usually uh, you want to change it here. So the headline here is this. So we're going to do... Actually, we'll just... What I like to do in the headline, actually, and, um, is set up basically a call to action, so sign up for golf lessons. So up, this is going to be the text at the top. Um, so, you know, we provide award-winning golf lessons to beginners and advanced golfers. So you want to put something at the top that people can basically see it right away and be like, okay, I get what they're offering. And then at the very bottom, you get a newsfeed links de description that's down here. Um, so we're just going to be, you know, contact us today for rates. If I could spell. rates and availability in your area so you can get golf lessons like a pro. So something simple that, and you might want to use more text here. It just depends on what you're offering. Um, up here, you have a call to action button. So the call to action button shows down here in the bottom corner. Um, I don't know why Facebook is cutting off, it's cutting this off. So it's down here in the bottom corner, this learn more. So what you can do is there's a lot of different things here request time maybe for a phone call apply now book now i'm just gonna do contact us that's basically what uh what would work the best for this one so um the other thing you get at the bottom is the display link so you'll see down here it's still surfside ppc i'm just gonna leave that because that's where i'm sending traffic to um 
So different things. You can track conversions from your Facebook pixel. I'm just going to do no tracking for right now. You can do offline events that you can create, different things that, um, different options there. Um, but that's that's a better lesson for another video. Basically, now everything's done. You want to double check everything. You want to make sure you have tracking for your URL. Um, and you want to track different ads together if you're doing them separately. I'm going to have another video about tracking. Um, but basically, this is it. So let's click place order. Now, basically, they say my ad is already approved. Um, you can duplicate an existing ad if you want to uh, put it into different ad sets, if you want to try different ad copy. So basically what we have here is now we have our campaign. Um, it's called Golf Traffic because I'm just sending traffic to my website. You'll see my ad set here, PGA Tour Golf. And basically here's our ad right here. If I go to, let's go to Edit Ad. You can mess around with it here. The other thing you can do is click see post and they'll actually show what my ad looks like. So they'll show basically what my ad looks like right here and that's basically it. So provide award winning golf lessons to beginners and advanced golfers, sign up for golf lessons today. So that's basically it. Um, when someone clicks through to this, they can hopefully contact me. This is how you'd start sending traffic to it. Um, that's how you set up a traffic campaign right in Facebook. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something and uh, make sure you uh, contact us if you need any help with Facebook advertising. We can definitely help you.